Hi there, traders. This is Brad Gilbert with today's trading action. Now, let's just have a bit of a look at what's going on in the major currencies. Okay, now dollar yen is cruising back to the top side, right? That is going to dominate the general price action across the board. And we are seeing the dollar move with that higher um, dollar yen price, right? It's going to put a little bit of downward pressure on euro, sterling, Aussie, and Kiwi. Yesterday, we had the RBA minutes. And they have uh, sort of popped the little bubble that the Aussie was in. Um, Aussie Kiwi retraced a bit. Euro uh, Aussie back up. Uh, Aussie Swiss a little bit down. And uh, Aussie CAD and Euro Sterling Aussie, not, not a lot in it. So no change of sentiment or no change of statement, no change of rates, sort of business as usual, but data dependent, which is like a lot of central banks at the moment. So looking at the picture right now, it's it's a pretty tough trade. Right. And if I sort of overlay here the economic numbers, right, here's those CAD IV PMI numbers. Now, these numbers were really strong, but we saw the dollar rally, right? CAD didn't go up at all. Oil is falling. That's going to put upward pressure on dollar CAD. Plus, you've got dollar yen moving higher with the dollar move. And that's why dollar CAD's higher. So just be aware the markets are out of whack at the moment because of what's happening on dollar yen just at the moment. You've got to think the BOJ are going to come in and give it another big bash at some stage, but they're sitting tight just at the moment. Now, this today, not a lot on the table, right? It's a bit of a transition week. We've got a few uh, central bankers speaking. Um, I mean, you've got some industrial production numbers in Germany. That's a bit of a stretch to try and get a move there and some crude uh, stocks down the bottom. And you've got a couple of Fed cronies talking as well. So if you know what? If you're thinking of sitting in front of the screens today, maybe rethink it because there are going to be better opportunities uh, going forward than we are seeing today, right? You come into Thursday, it sort of really cranks up. Um, balance of trade figures. Now, to me, China is the only place you'd look for balance of trade numbers because the numbers are so epic, right? The uh, Then you've got the Bank of England tomorrow, US jobless claims. That is uh, obviously a key event and that's, you know, at this stage, looks like what the market is waiting for. If anything, I'd be tuning up your yen crosses, see what's um, going on across the board there on your charts. If I just click mine in, we'll get that up. Um, and this is what I mean, right? You got to prepare for the opportunity. So to me, if I was looking for a little bit of a specy, I'd have, a, you know, maybe a, a pending stop entry below these clouds to capture any sort of... Um, loose trading activity by the Bank of Japan. Now, I wouldn't cover them all, but if you find one that you like and, and you feel comfortable with, well, that's that's a potential side strategy you can have just sitting on the sidelines, right? Because if they come in, they're just going to crunch it. It's not going to be uh, anything friendly that you'll be able to get into afterwards. All right, guys, so that's it for me. The uh, There's not a hell of a lot on the table. Just, um, well, there's not a lot as far as the numbers go. If I can get that off. And uh, we'll just see how things progress from here, right? Thursday trading, look forward to that. All right, guys, have a good one. All the best. Cheerio.